It is something psychological. If a woman feels pain during penetration, it may not only because of the size of his penis, it is also likely that the woman is not fully aroused. In reality, the thickness of the penis is much more important than the length to produce satisfaction in women. It is said that a woman will be much more likely to be unfaithful to her husband when he does not perform rough sex on her. For women, deep penetration is not more satisfying but rather changes of rhythm. The angle of penetration is something key to feeling greater pleasure. Therefore, you have to try new positions to discover new very erogenous areas. Another survey this time done only in Scotland disclosed that women with sensitive fingertips have more orgasm. Studies conducted among Americans found that 67% of men between the age of 65 and 75 years of age have an active sex life. Among women, the rate is 40%. A study by Bulgarian scientists found that men in the countryside have larger penises than those in large. The difference is minimal. The G-spot is an area that is located in the outermost part of the vagina between 3 and 5 centimeters from the entrance of the vagina on the front wall. The best position to stimulate the G-spot during penetration is leaning back on top of her. It can be very fun and exciting if you delay the moment in which you begin to give pleasure to your partner. This will make the morale to very high. Although the clitoris is the center, during sex, it is not necessary to go directly to it. Go through the entire entertaining area for each of the folds on the surfaces, casually passed by the clitoris from time to time but do not stop at it. 70% of men watch porn compared to just 33% of women. Women also tend to tune in with their partner, while men are happier to view porn alone. Only 3 out of 10 women under the age of 30 say they have tried anal sex at some time in their lives while after the age of 40 the figure increases to 7 out of 10 women. Licking a woman's belly button before oral pleasure will increase her arousal. An average woman produces up to 1.5 liters of vaginal fluid during sexual intercourse. If relations with your partner are already too monotonous, try blindfolding your wife. The sensations are so vivid that she will probably reach a climax with only the preliminaries. The majority of men and women over the age of 60 in the United States have satisfactory sexual intercourse very frequently. Most even do so two or three times a day, more than many young adults. When we combine the data for older and younger, along with their mental and physical health characteristics, the older actually had a better quality of sexual life. If we compare the sexual life of a 40-year-old with a 50-year-old, although the frequency and mood of having intercourse are similar, those of 50 tended to report greater sexual satisfaction in their bedroom life. A woman older than 45 knows what she likes and she's not ashamed to ask her partner for certain things that she wants in bed. Circumcised men feel more pleasured during sexual intercourse compared to the non-circumscribed. That's the good news. The bad news is that the circumcised have greater sensitivity to pain in the penis. 98% of women come immediately when you penetrate them with your rough in bed. From the age of 60, sexual desire in man has decreased because there is a hormonal decline, but those who like and enjoy sex will hardly notice it. Men between 18 and 30 years of age think about sex on average every 52 seconds. Women in turn think every 24 hours. The habit of having anal sex decreases, pain and increases sensitivity in the anus region of every 10 people who pretend to have an orgasm. 3 are men. Thanks for watching.